In this module, we'll look at the Dart programming language. Dart is an optimized language to build faster applications, and you can learn about it by going over to dart.dev and documentation. Here you'll have everything from language samples to language tour, effective Dart writing guide. So if we go down to language tour, this would be a tour of the Dart language, which provide you all the contents right here. Everything that you would have to do would generally be here and you can refer this documentation. What I want to quickly show you are some basic concepts in Dart. So we can try our Dart in our browser by going over to try Dart from this menu. And here we have a simple program. So when writing code in Dart, uh, the first function to get control is the main function, as is the case with any programming language. So we create a new main function, something like this, void main, and it can have some optional parameters, uh, optional arguments here, uh, but we wouldn't pass them just right now. And we can use the print statement to print hello world to our console. I'll have to close this off with a semicolon at the end and we have a simple Dart program. If I hit run, it should print out hello world to our console right here. And there you have it. Now, what if uh, I wanted to somewhat print my name so I can create a new variable called this var name equals to Aditya. Close this off with semicolon. And now instead of saying hello world, I can use string interpolation, which can be done using a dollar sign and typing in the variable name. And with that, I'll have hello Aditya printed out to console. So this was a basic program. If I'll again go down to the docs, I can check out all the built-in data types in the Dart programming language. We'll go down to a Dart tour of a Dart language. You have already seen the basic Dart program, which is a hello world program. If I go down to keywords, you'll have a list of all the keywords available in Dart. But what I want to check out is the variables. So we can use var keyword to create a new variable name. Similarly, we can explicitly declare the type of this variable. For example, instead of having a var here, I can use the string data type to create, um, to explicitly mention the data type of this variable. Dart is a strongly typed language. So when I use the var keyword to declare, declare a variable name, it automatically infers uh, the data type of that variable to be of type string. But I can also explicitly declare them as in I can tell uh, the compiler that it is of type string. So both of these should work just fine. Now we can also have a default value. In our case, we are already creating a default value, which we can change uh, later on to be something like name equals to, let us say, Amun. I'll close this off. If I run this program right now, it should be by default Aditya, and then it should change this name value to Amun, and it should print out the new name, which is hello Amun to the console which is a simple programming concept, like you can change these values. In our case, we have been initializing a default value as in we are saying that the name, when uh, initialized, it has a default value of Aditya, but if there are uh, like uninitialized variables that have a nullable type, for example, if we create a variable to be nullable, for example, if in our case we make this explicit, like we make this variable nullable, and if I try to print it out right now, it should print out hello null to the console. If I remove this, try to do something like this, you'll see like the no, non nullable local variable name must be assigned before it can be used. Now we need to assign a value for it if we want to use it um, later on. So we can call this late string name, say name equals to Aditya, something like this. Now, if I run this program, it should print out hello Aditya to the console. This late variables was introduced in Dart 
point two, which is used to declare a non-nullable variable that is initialized after its declaration. So we are declaring the variable here, but we are initializing it here. And then we can print out the value in the third statement. There are also final and const keyword. Now, if I make a particular variable final, uh, it, it would mean that it, its value cannot be changed. For example, here, if I made final name equals to Bob, if I try to change it later on, it cannot be done. Uh, we cannot change the value of a final variable and with constant we we want to say that the variable is compile time constant which is uh, which is a way of telling the compiler that the value wouldn't change as in we can use it for some constant values for example uh, if we have a variable that stores the pi value we could have it constant everywhere constant variables are all implicitly final now let us also quickly look at all the built-in types available in Dart. We have integers, which is used to store numbers. Uh, we have double, which is used to store decimal numbers. We have string. Boolean is used for true and false. Then there are other types like list, sets, map, uh, runes, symbols, and the value null. So we kind of saw like what the value null was when we were printing out the name. Uh, we look at most of these data types as we go ahead with the tutorial like we would want to use lists and maps later on uh, right now the basic data types should be clear so if instead of having like a string of name I, I have like a number like let us say int marks equal to 20 I can use it something like this I'll get rid of this name here and I can print out uh, the marks to console something like this and specify this marks variable right here so I can run this uh, program really quick and I should have like a printed value marks r20. If I wanted to use a, a decimal type value, I could specify it as a double instead of using int here. And if I run this program, it should run fine. Similarly, there is also the bool keyword to declare boolean. So let us say bool is true equal to boolean, let us say pass equal to, let's set this to false initially. And um, I can print out this if pass or not to the console. So I'll print this out really quick. And it should just tell us if the person is pass or fail and it says false right now. So in the next module, we'll see uh, some of uh, the functions, how to uh, create a function in Dart. And after that, we'll look at some of the control flow statements in Dart, which would be essential, like if else, false, uh, loops, while, do, while, and that, which we would be using in building applications later on.